Hi everyone, this is Debbie from Two Old Crows, and I love to craft, especially with items that I find at the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Joann's, and through thrifting. I'm always creating something new, so if you love to craft and haven't subscribed to my channel, please go and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell if you wish to be notified whenever I post a new video. It really helps my channel to grow, and I would greatly appreciate it. So let's get started on the craft for today. Today I thought I would show you how to create a simple, easy bow that comes out perfect every time. I hear so many people say they can't make a bow, but after watching this video, you won't have any problem. I found all three of these ribbons that I'm going to use at the Dollar Tree, so they were only a dollar each. So this will be a very inexpensive bow to make. The first thing you have to do is decide the size of your bow. I've decided that I wish to have six inch loops, or what that means is the loop will be six inches around, but three inches tall. This can be the perfect size to use on a package, on a wreath, or on lots of things that I like to use in my decorating. So the first thing we have to do is cut our ribbon. And what we want to do is make 12 inch strips. And we need to cut two of each if we want to have six loops. So just get a ruler and measure them out. You're going to be creating a lot of these bows once you catch on to this simple technique. I think this will be pretty on something for spring with this bit of turquoise in it. These are burlap ribbons and they do have wire. I do find that making these bows works much better if you have a wired ribbon. Now that we have our six loops, we're going to fold them each in half and put a little crease at the top. You can make this with 8 loops, 12 loops, 2 loops, whatever you would like. Once we have all of our loops folded, we're going to put them in a nice stack. So I'm going to stack them up. And then with a pipe cleaner, I'm going to come down about three inches. And wrap my pipe cleaner around tightly. Giving it a twist, I'm going to pull this as tight as I can. I like to use pipe cleaners rather than ribbon because they don't cut into your fingers and palms so much. If I have a lot to make, that wire can really get bad on my palms and fingers. So I'm just going to give it a twist and I have these two little stems of pipe cleaners on the back that I can connect it with something. Then I'm just going to start pulling the loops out and giving them a bit of a twist. Doing them in every which direction. If I want a bigger bow, I would make more loops. This is going to be just the right size for the project I have planned for. And you can move them around and how you ever space your, put your ribbons together to begin with will show how they're going to come out at the end. But this is such an easy way to make a bow. Just keep working with it till you have it the way you want. But didn't that make a simple, easy bow? I probably would have 
maybe would have done eight on this. So I can go back and add two more in if I want. But this is a simple, easy way for you to make a bow with no problem at all. I hope you've enjoyed crafting with me today. And if you like this video, would you please give it a thumbs up and a comment. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I look forward to crafting with you again and sharing more of my crafting and ideas that I have. So until I see you again, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.